Welcome to Gem U, Gem Shopping Network's very own educational series designed to help our customers expand their knowledge in the vast world of gemstones and jewelry. At Gem Shopping Network, education has been the cornerstone of our business for over 18 years because we believe that an educated customer is our best customer. After each lesson, be sure to visit gemshopping.com and test your knowledge by taking our quiz and qualifying to win a $100 Gem Shopping gift card. Today's lesson will be presented by our resident gem professor, Alan. Alan has over 40 years of experience in the gemstone and jewelry industry and has personally owned and operated several high-end jewelry stores. He is a graduate gemologist from both the Gemological Institute of America and the Gemological Association of Great Britain and was a gemology professor at Tulane University for over eight years. And now, here's Alan. Hi folks, welcome to GEMU. Gem University, part of Gem Shopping Network. We feel knowledge is power, and the more we can impart to you about the experience and background of gems, the more comfortable you'll be in acquiring gemstones in the future. I'm going to talk to you today about the Beryl family. Beryl is one of the famous families of gems. It's a beryl, meaning it's beryllium aluminum silicate, and it has very famous stones in it. The first stone we're going to talk about is emerald. Emerald is one of the top four. Emerald, ruby, sapphire, and diamond. But emerald is so sought after, and it's a magnificent stone. It gets its color from traces of chromium and vanadium. They're also inhibitors of size and clarity. That's why emerald in the gem world is a type three stone. To find an emerald with rich, deep color, blue-green color, and cleanish, is very, very rare. There's a glut on the market of low-end and mediocre emeralds, but there's a dearth of that fine, fine emerald that you look for, that rich color and deep, deep tone that we talk about. Emerald is a stone that's usually cut as an emerald cut because it's a hexagonal crystal. We call it emerald cut. In the gem world, it's called step cut. It was originally found many parts of the world back in oh, early, early times, but the great stones in the last 30 or 40 years come from Colombia. Two principal mines, the Muzo and Shivor. I had the pleasure of going to those mines in the 70s. Very interesting, very different than what I thought it would be. Other sources around the world are Zambia, Zimbabwe, Brazil, many, many sources, but we keep returning as a, as a linchpin for quality to the Muzo and Shivor mines. Probably the most sought after of all stones, along with those top four, emerald today is uh, the birthstone for the month of May. Very important. Hardness scale between a seven and a half and an eight. That's the Mohns scale of hardness. Frederick Mohns developed the scale from one to 10. You know 10 is diamond, nine is corundum, ruby and sapphire, Eight is imperial topaz, not quartz, imperial topaz, one source Brazil. And then you have the quartz family at seven. The beryl family falls between a seven and a half and an eight. Very durable, uh, very strong, no problems in wearing it. Easy to clean and a wonderful, wonderful material. The second stone I wanted to talk to you about was aquamarine. Aqua is that rich blue. And usually because the mineral trace element of iron it really is not an inhibitor of, of sizing, and it doesn't cause inclusions. Those are the marks in the stone that you see through the eye. There's many, many names for them, but for generally, we're going to use the term inclusion. To find an aqua clean is not unusual. Aqua has two principal colors. You see the blue. Sometimes you see a little trace of green. The green is chromium, but the green, when they heat an aqua, the, uh, the chromium is sensitive to the heating, so it draws the chemical of uh, chromium out of the stone, leaving the iron more predominant. The richer and the heavier influx of the, of the iron, the deeper the color. There was a mine back, oh, 30 years ago, many in Oro Prieto, Teofilo Atoni, Brazil, that's a state in Brazil. The mine was called uh, the Santa Maria Mine. There were others, but Santa Maria yielded a very rich, deep color in the aquamarine. 
And that, if you hear us say that we refer to that material, it reminds us of Santa Maria. It is just a deep, fine, fine color. Aquamarine is the birthstone for March. And the, the word aquamarine comes from the Latin word of seawater. Interesting, it's also a lucky stone for seafarers out on the seas, fishermen, commercial or otherwise. It's a stone they, they keep in their pocket for good luck. And another side note, you'll find this interesting. It's the stone aqua is mentioned more times in the Bible than any other stone and it was the main stone of Aaron's breastplate. The next stone I want to talk about is also, of course, in the Beryl family. It's called Morganite. And Morganite derives its color from manganese and cesium. But an interesting sidebar, uh, the stone was named for J.P. Morgan by a friend of his, Dr. Kunz. Dr. George Frederick Kunz was, a cure, was the chief gemologist for Tiffany's. And in 1910, it was originally discovered in California Dr. Kunz named it for J.P. Morgan. Also, not just found in California, some wonderful deposits in Brazil, in Madagascar, and in Eastern Africa. There are other sources in the world, but an interesting, another very interesting point, and I don't want to leave it out. It's been around, uh, Morganite's been around for many, many years, but only in the last three to five years have designers found how beautiful it can be mounted in jewelry. And that's why we're showing more of it and around the world you're seeing more designers using Morganite. All right, folks, at, at the end of this show, you can go online and there's some questions you can answer and have fun with the class we've just had. And please stay tuned. This is only beginning of what we're gonna show you from GemU. We're gonna have a ball. We're gonna make you experts, and if you have nothing to do, you can come work with us. This has been another installment of GemU. Now, visit gemshopping.com and complete your quiz. Each completed quiz will automatically enter you into a drawing to win one of five $100 Gem Shopping gift cards. Tune in to Gem U each Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern, Tuesday at 1 a.m. and 4 p.m. Eastern, and Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern for another lesson in gemology. And check gemshopping.com to review each of the lessons and for all of the details. And now, let's rejoin our live show for a special presentation of fine world-class barrel gemstones and jewelry.